What up with it, Foodie fam? I'm your host, Uncle Mark, and you are tuned into the Foodie Sumo channel where I bring you foodie reviews and video recipes. Before we get to it, I'm gonna need you to go ahead and hit that like, hit that subscribe, that notification bell, leave some commentary, and most importantly, share these videos so that you can help me reach a bigger audience of Foodie fam. You feel me? All right, today I got a video recipe for you. Remember that chicken thigh? that we uh, smoked the other in the other video. Well, yeah, I got him all diced up here, ready to go, and some greens. You feel me? Yeah, we're gonna be making some foodie sumo style collard greens today, my friend. So you know the drill, I ain't gonna hold it to the line. Let's put this thing together and get us some collard greens on the plate, you feel me? All right, so first, I'm gonna hit the soft take button. Turn this on. All right, now that it's on. Going in with a little bit of oil. It's olive oil. And we're going in with the smoked chicken thigh. Give that some time to start cooking through. And it's gonna start releasing all of its, its, uh, its smoked aroma. It's gonna smell like bacon, but show. So now this Instant Pot is heating up in a saute mode. And we're gonna get these diced smoked chicken thigh meat nice and somewhat crisp. Like I said, it's gonna be like, um, it's gonna resemble bacon a little bit. As far as the smell and the texture, I wanted to get fairly crispy. And giving this a stir here. My goodness, you can see that stain coming off of there. That's good smoked chicken thigh stain permeating the air. That smell good stuff, my friend. I'm gonna let this go for a little bit longer. I said I wanna get a little crisp texture on there. When it cooks into the greens, that's gonna provide a whole lot of flavor for those greens and, and, and just the rest of the, um, the experience. Continue to cook this through. Start to smell smoky in here, definitely. Okay. So at this point, I'm gonna go ahead, and pour in one cup of water. That's an instant pot cup of water. And I'll go ahead and scrape this down. Get all those crispy bits off the bottom. You see how that water is, 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 is turning brown? Yeah, that's the, uh, that's that good flavoring coming from the, um, from the chicken thigh and the uh, crispy bits on the bottom. Okay, that's good enough there. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with one. Now you can put as much as a, as a, tablespoon in here, but I'm gonna go with a half a tablespoon of fish sauce. So that's the secret ingredient here. Go in with one. Like I said, you can go up to one. And it's gonna give you much saltier uh, profile. I'm trying to keep this lower sodium, so I'm just going in with half a tablespoon of fish sauce. Go ahead and stir that in. And again, that's gonna provide all of your flavoring. Now I'm gonna go in with the pepper mill, that pepper grinder. A 
I love pepper. I love pepper in my greens. Next, I'm going in here with some, with a handful of uh, pepper and onion blend. Break some of these big pieces down. Maybe more than a handful, that's a couple handfuls. I can get a decent amount of that veg in there. And this gives it a little more flavor, a little subtle flavor, onions, peppers. And next we're going in with our grains. These are frozen, I like to keep them frozen. This is uh, 16 ounces, 16 ounces of greens. I broke them down. I ain't trying to plug them, but um, yeah, 16 ounces of greens going in, frozen greens going in here. Already chopped, washed, all that good stuff. So just dump and go. You feel me? Dump and go. Don't leave anything in that bag either, man. And greens deserve to be eaten. I'm gonna eat them. And this is still on saute mode. So I'm just gonna fold this up in here. Mix it through. And you see those greens start to soften up here. As the hot water hits them. The hot liquid, the hot pot liquor. As the old souls say, that pot liquor. And it's gonna be delicious. Okay, so we're good here. I folded that in a little bit, incorporated that. Gonna go ahead and close at the top. Boom, close up the vent as well. So in here, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. And then I am going to hit the manual button and it's already set at 20 minutes. I'm just gonna let that go ahead and cruise, do what it does, cook them grains to perfection. And we'll come back when it's time to take a look in that pot, you feel me? So I'll see you in 20 minutes, my friend. All right. All right, y'all, we're back. So this is just finished um, cooking through the 20 minute process. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off. And then I'm gonna let it naturally release its pressure, which might take another 10 or 15 or so minutes. So I will check back with you then. All right, y'all, it's been about 10 minutes and this is completely depressurized. So let's get our first look in there. Start them grains up, get that good steam coming off of there. look like. Wow. That's what them greens look like, my friend. All right, y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed that recipe. The Instant Pot Greens. Yeah. It don't get no better than that, man. Real simple, easy to make recipe. Just a little bit of prep and you're good to go on a, on a busy week weekday, even a busy weekend. It don't have to be a special treat. It could be an everyday treat if you want it. You feel me? So I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all get back to your day and make this a part of your day going forward. That Uncle Mark special brand of Foodie Sumo style Instant Pot Greens with smoked chicken thighs, man. Come on, man. Like I said, it don't get no better than that. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut it down here, man. I could Bojangle all day, you feel me? Uncle Mark signing off is on.